Hello Explorers, this is the part 2 of the fast facts about every African country. You can watch the first part by clicking on the card on your screen. So let's continue with Gabon. Gabon, a country along the Atlantic coast which has significant areas of protected parkland. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers and its population is estimated at 2.1 million people. Libreville is its capital and largest city and the official language is French. Gabon has a nominal GDP of $17.212 billion and although it has natural resources and income potential, due to an even distribution of wealth and corruption, Gabon still remains a very poor African country. The current president of the country, Ali Bongo, is the son of Omar Bongo, who was president of Gabon from 1967 until his death in 2009. Next up is the Gambia, a small West African country bounded by Senegal with a narrow Atlantic coastline. Gambia has a diverse ecosystem around the central Gambian River. It was one of the earliest African countries to gain its independence from the United Kingdom on 18th February 1965 with English as the official language. The population of Gambia amounts to about 2.2 million with a nominal GDP of $1.810 billion. The capital of Gambia is Banjul, a lively major urban hub with, Ad with Adamoa Baro as the current president of the country. The currency of Gambia is the Dalasi. Moving over to West Africa, we find Ghana. Ghana was the second sub-Saharan African state to gain independence from England on 6 March 1957, just a year after Sudan got its independence on January 1, 1956. The country's economy is booming, having twice as much GDP as the poorest African nation. Ghana has a population of 32 million people, with a nominal GDP of $69.7 billion. Ghana is one of Africa's leading economies, although still plagued by multinational debts. The capital and largest city of Ghana is Accra and His Excellency Nana Akufo Addo is the current president of the nation. The currency in use in Ghana is the Ghana City. When it comes to gold production, Ghana alongside South Africa topped the charts in Africa. Still in West Africa, we find Guinea. Officially, the Republic of Guinea is a coastal country in West Africa. The modern reference to the country is sometimes Guinea-Conakry, often used to distinguish it from other countries with Guinea in the name, like the Guinea-Bissau or Equatorial Guinea. Guinea has a population of about 12.4 million and an area of 245,857 square kilometers. Guinea was one of the first countries to gain independence on 2nd of February 1958, and the capital and largest city is Conakry, with French, English, and Arabic being the official languages. It has a GDP of $9.1 billion, and the currency in use is the Guinea franc. Since December 2010, Alpha Conde, who was the former African Union president, has been president of Guinea. In West Africa still, we have Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is a country covering an area of 36,125 square kilometers with an estimated population of 1,874,303. It borders Senegal to the north and Guinea to the southeast. Guinea-Bissau's GDP per capita is one of the lowest in the world and its human development index is one of the lowest on earth, having a nominal GDP of $1.480 billion. More than two-thirds of the population live below the poverty line and the economy depends mainly on agriculture like fishing and exportation of cashew nuts and groundnuts. The president of the country is Umbaro Sissoko Mbalo. Guinea-Bissau's capital and largest city is Bissau, and the official language is Portuguese. Next up is East Africa's Kenya. Kenya is known as a safari destination in Africa. At 580,367 square kilometers, Kenya is the world's 48th largest country by total area, having a population of well over 47.6 million people as of 2019 census. Kenya also happens to be the 29th most populous country in the world. Kenya's capital and largest city is Nairobi and the country has a GDP of $109.116 billion. The current president Uhuru Kenyatta, son of the very first elected president of Kenya, President Jomo Kenyatta, has been making efforts to thrust the country forward. An interesting fact about Uhuru Kenyatta is that he won his last term elections in August 2017 but his opposition, Riley Odinga, filed a court case against him and the court agreed and a month later cancelled the election's results rescheduling it for a later date. However, on the 26th of October 2017, Kenyatta Uhuru still won the elections and is doing well to date, despite minor controversies working against his government. Kenya is developing and their currency in use is the Kenyan shilling. Going over to the southern part of Africa, we find Lesotho. An enclaved country within the border of South Africa, Lesotho is by far the largest of the world's three independent states, completely surrounded by the territory of another country. Lesotho is a small country with an area of 30,000 square kilometers. Lesotho has a population of around 2 million, with its capital and largest city being Maseru, 
and its official language is Sesotho. Lesotho has a nominal GDP of $2.721 billion, with Loti as currency. However, they use the South African Rand too. Let's see the third, born David Mohato Bereng Sezo, is king of Lesotho since 17 July 1963. Liberia, officially the Republic of Liberia, is a country on the West African coast, bordered by Sierra Leone to its northwest, Guinea to its north, Cote d'Ivoire to its east, and the Atlantic Ocean to its south southwest. It has a population of around 5 million and covers an area of 111,369 square kilometers. The official languages is English, although over 20 indigenous languages are spoken. The capital and largest city is Monrovia, with the nominal GDP of the country being $3.221 billion. George Weah is the current president of Liberia, having inherited a war-torn country barely surviving in recent years. The currency in use here is the Liberian dollar. Moving to the north, we have Libya, an Arabic country in the Maghreb region of North Africa, occupying a very vast area of almost 1.8 million square kilometers. Libya is the fourth largest country in Africa and is the 16th largest country in the world. The country is blessed with abundant oil reserves and its largest city and capital, Tripoli, is located in West Libya. Libya's nominal GDP of $21.805 billion and would thrive even more if not for civil unrest and extremist invasions from neighboring militant groups. Mohamed Al Menfi is the current president over the presidential council. Libya's population amounts to about 6.8 million with Beba, Arabic and Teda as official spoken languages. The Libyan Dina is the currency currently in use and one of the most powerful in Africa. From Libya, we go all the way to Madagascar. Madagascar is an island country in the Indian Ocean, located some 400 kilometers off the coast of East Africa. Madagascar is the world's second largest country by total land area, occupied with its capital at Antananarivo. With a population of about 27 million and a nominal GDP of $12.734 billion, Madagascar is surviving the harshness of environmental hazards. Over 90% of their forests are being destroyed by natural hazards. The president of this country is the businessman turned president, Andre Rajolina, and the currency in use in Madagascar is the Ariari. Antananarivo is the country's capital city. Next up is a country in Southeast Africa, officially the Republic of Malawi. Malawi is a landlord country in Southeastern Africa, formerly known as Nyaziland, with Lilongwe as its capital. Malawi spanned a total land area of 118,484 square kilometers, having an estimated population of 19.5 million as of January 2021. Malawi's Lake Malawi covers more than two-thirds of the country's total land area. The nominal GDP of Malawi, which currently stands at $7.436 billion, explains why it is amongst the least developed economically improved countries in the world, with more than 85% of Malawians living in rural areas and below the poverty line. Lazarus Chakwera is the current president, doubling as a Minister of Defense. The currency in use in Malawi is the Malawian Kwacha. Mali is another landlocked country in West Africa and the eighth largest country in Africa, with an area of just over 1,240,000 square kilometers. The population of Mali is 20,250,833 Interestingly enough, over 67% of its population was estimated to be over the age of 25 in 2017, making it one of the countries in Africa with the youngest population. Its capital is Bamako and its nominal GDP is $17.407 billion. Ba Ndao is currently serving as interim president since 2020, overseeing a country plagued with civil unrest and poverty. The West African franc is the currency currently in use. Mauritania is a country in Northwest Africa. It is currently the 11th largest sovereign state in Africa and is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west. During the scramble for Africa, Mauritania was essentially controlled by the Berber-speaking tribes and invading Arabs, hence its inherent Arabic, Berber and French languages as official languages. Since independence, the nation has been surviving from one coup d'etat to another, with the reason being from General Abdel Aziz. As such, the economy suffers immensely. Mauritania has a nominal GDP of $5.200 billion and a population of about 4.5 million people. The capital and largest city is Nouakchott, and Mohamed Ouid Ganzwani is its ninth president. The currency in use is Uguya. Now, moving off the coast of Africa, we have Mauritius. Mauritius is an island nation in the Indian Ocean, about 2,000 kilometers off the southeast coast of the African continent, east of Madagascar. Mauritius became a republic in the year 1992. The country spans 2,040 square kilometers, and its capital and largest city is Port Louis. The population of Mauritius as of 2020 is 1,265,475, and it has a nominal GDP of $14.812 billion. 
Prish Vithra Singh Rupun is the current president of the country and the currency in use is the Mauritian rupee. Mauritius is famous for its pristine beaches and luxurious hotels. Next up, Morocco. Morocco, or known for its meaning, place the sun sets, or as the Kingdom of Morocco is located in the Maghreb region of North Africa. The capital of Morocco is Rabat and the largest city is Casablanca. Morocco spans an area of 710,850 square kilometers with a population of over 30 million. The nominal GDP of the country is $122.458 billion and the currency in use is the Moroccan dirham. Morocco is ruled by King Mohammed VI, who belongs to a long dynasty of kings, having taken over from his father, King Hassan II. Returning to the southern part of Africa, we get to Mozambique. Officially known as the Republic of Mozambique, it is a country located in southern eastern Africa. Over 30 million people call this land home, and its capital and largest city is Maputo. Having a nominal GDP of $15.372 billion, the IMF has rated Mozambique as one of the poorest and most heavily indebted countries in the world. Portuguese is the official language, although Swahili, Mwani, Chewa and Tonga are recognized languages. Felipe Jacinto Nusi is the current president, heading what is described as an authoritarian government since 2015. The currency in use in Mozambique is the Metical. Dear explorers, to continue watching this video, click on the card on your screen for the part 3.